it's a smart contract platform which scales via state channels. So the most of the smart contract code in the state is off-chain. We have an integrated concept of an oracle which is used to interface with the real world data. And then there is also big privacy um, increase through the use of the state channels as well. So that by default the smart contracts and all also the business logics that might be implemented in the smart contracts is not on a public blockchain but still it's trustless so none of the counterpart counterparties can cheat on each other and can achieve a benefit from cheating. The third or even fourth difference is the integrated uh, governance which we build via a prediction market. A prediction market has this nice uh, functionality that it's actually distills the information from the outside world so the more people participate the more accurate also the signal from a prediction market can be but the core thing is that it's combining the information into one single number between zero and one which can then give you or gives the people who participate in the blockchain network the miners as well as the people who have value tokens um, they can make better decisions together while using this signal from the prediction market so far, nobody has ever developed a worldwide functioning prediction market which can achieve this. Sometimes I also say we build a new consciousness, a new global consciousness. It's not just AI, it's AC. We have several implementations that are quite unique. So we are, for example, using state channels that puts a lot of data off-chain. So it's like it keeps the blockchain light and going on for years. And then the next thing is we're also using oracles. And these oracles feed smart contracts with real world data. And this is like a really, really good thing, for example, for trade finance or the whole container shipping business and all that stuff. There are like multiple use cases for that. We're building a new blockchain platform where we're focusing on scalability, governance and security. And I reckon the three most important parts would be number one, the state channels where we are able to only use the actual blockchain when we start a smart contract. The transactions are all happening off-chain, which means there's unlimited transaction possibilities and unlimited speed possibilities until the smart contract is finished and then you go on-chain again and it's done. 